Okay, magic. So I have all of my strips done and Harriet is watching now. And you know, these are just such fun because you can, you can sit them on a chair, you can, a tiny little miniature chair, which I love. You can put little things with them. I had a candy cane with her a while back, so it's all fun. Okay, so we uh, have our body pieces hooked together and at one end. And I have pulled out one of the wider cuts. This is because um, you kind of want a little bit wider piece to go across the face. On Harriet here, this is maybe even a wider piece that's gonna come down the face. And I like to do it that way. It doesn't matter really, but um, it's what we do. So I'm gonna actually just uh, pull that piece out and I'll come back and get it. And uh, I won't tie this off because this end will be her, uh, the back of her skirt. And I'm, oh, we do have a mess at the end. So I'm just gonna trim all of that off. Get rid of the, this, this fabric really frays a lot with, uh, with the tearing, but I like the look of the tear and I actually don't mind the look of all of these little pieces too that are, that are really throughout. I don't know how well you can see, but really there's little little strings but that's the nature of this kind of doll so here we go i'm going to just divide this in half in my most exact measurements here and gather it uh, together fairly tightly right in the middle so this will be her head and all the rest of it now will be her skirt and her body so here we have up at the top and i'm going to try this do this backwards so that you can see uh, and i didn't pull off all the strings off of that one piece that I wanted for her face, although I have another one that looks good too. But now it's when you just start shaping her. And I'm gonna put, put this piece over the top. Uh, I'm not sure it's any better than any of the rest of them. And you can put uh, nothing in the head. I stuff little pieces of my ripped up fabric, little extra pieces. You can even take all of the little threads and wrap them up in a little ball and stick it inside just to give her head a little bit more uh, fullness. And I'm not really, I see all this stuff sticking out the side, I know, but I'm not really gonna worry too much about that right now. That's all gonna be taken care of as we go along, I hope. I'm going to grab another little piece of our cord that we're tying with, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie it right around her neck so that she'll actually have a head. And remember to do a square knot this time if I can, although several things are gonna be wrapped on around this at the neck as well. So it's not terribly important. Okay, so I'm gonna look at it and maybe pull it in a little bit on the side and oh my goodness, I let go. And this is gonna be the split in the middle, but you know, it doesn't matter where that split is. You can make it wherever you want to. If you've completely got them all together, it doesn't matter, you just pull them apart again. And this is where her arms go in. It helped to clean up. So I'm going to slide that in here. Isn't she starting to have some personality already? And I think this is going to be the front of her because I like the way the face looks better. And um, get these turned around so that she's looking beautiful. And this goes right up to the neck. And you can see how nice and full these arms are. I kind of like that 17 inches or whatever that was instead of the 12 by 12 square, a 12 by 17. And I'm gonna now give her a waistline and tie that off with another little piece of string or ribbon or whatever you have decided to tie with. And again, I'm not gonna worry too much about what it, it looks like now fabric-wise because all of those things can be adjusted if you want them to be, depending on how quickly you're making it. And I'll trim things off right now. So we're just gonna trim off these little tie pieces and be done with that for right now and kind of look again at her arms and 
I really like them when they're kind of blousy and full like that. So she already has a personality here and she's looking over at Harriet noticing that she doesn't have a bonnet. So these are strips. This is actually an old piece of a sheet that I just tore into sh uh, strips. This is about probably about an inch and a half, whatever you want it to be. And it's going to go around her head. Oh, I've already got that one is not long enough. So I'm going to pull off another little one. I want it to be fairly long because I like, well, this will work for this. And for the tie around her waist, we'll do something else. I'm going to fold it over so that she has a little bit more finished look on the top and put it around her head. And this, I'm also going to uh, tie on with a piece of our cord that I should have pre-cut and I didn't. So we'll just get another one real quick and tie that on. Now you can do that all at once if you want to. You can tie the neck and put the bonnet on at the same time. And I think maybe I used to do that, but today I'm not. So we'll get this on and I may switch this out for a longer one because I do like to tie it around the neck and in a little knot or at least a little loop and have some ends hang out. But you know, it's just, you can adjust as needed to make it work for you. So now we got tie this around her neck. And there she is. She's looking better. Although I hope I'm holding this down far enough. And then we'll just trim this off at an angle so that she looks very fancy here. And yeah, I, I may, I don't know, that looks okay. All right, so now the only thing that she is missing that is different from Harriet is her, uh, her apron. So I've cut these little sheets, and I don't know what size it is. I did it one time, but you're going to cut just a little sheet that, that looks right to you. Maybe that's uh, four inches, maybe that's six or seven inches. And I fold them just a little bit in on either side. So it's going to look sort of apronish, and and it's going to be tied here. It's going to be totally loose at the top. And the only thing that is tying it on is going to be her apron strings. And, you know, you're going to play with this a little bit until it really looks nice. And I'm going to get her some apron strings. And this one I'm going to make longer because it's going to go around in the back and I like to have nice long apron strings in the back. And this looks a little strange at first. I'm going to fold it in half right here to go around her waist and tie it on. And I usually do tie this one in a knot and a nice little square knot is so pretty. And trim these ends at an angle. And we have lots of little string things hanging out, but that's okay. Well, she's pretty cute. But, oh, that's, see, I guess being a knot, having a small waist myself, I like for her to have a small waist, I don't know. To play with her a little bit and see, see what she says. I think maybe I'll pull this up just a little bit higher. And I might even untie that and tie it a little bit tighter. And I might even, it's kind of hard doing this backwards and not looking at it from the front so you can see better what she looks like. And here she is next to Harriet. And maybe she would like to take over the fiddle playing for a while and play a fiddle. And I think, um, and there's her little arms. And she would be cute sitting up on a chair. She would be cute just, we hand them to people. I like to, oh, oh yeah. Now I haven't quite finished her because I probably will trim off her a little. You know, now that I've given, I haven't given her a name yet, so I guess she's not gonna feel this. So I trim this off a little bit and trim this off a little bit. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and all of these strings that are hanging down, way down, way down, just gather it all together, give it a little trim, but certainly nothing 
fancy because she is a rag doll. And straighten her out. And I might mess with this just a little bit more. I'm not sure. But she's pretty cute. I think her name is Molly. And I think she also is going to be a fiddle player. And I hope this helps and have fun making ragdolls. Bye. Bye.